welcome to the show, Lincoln. Thank you. And thank you for coming today. Okay. Um, last year, I heard about your testimony. Yes. And I was, of course, very touched by it. Yeah. And today, I really wanted you to share it with us, yes. especially everybody watching GXP. But before you share with us your story and your testimony, mm -hmm. can you tell us about yourself? Who are you? Who are your parents? And by the way, how old are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, my name is Amso Galinkon. Mm -hmm. I stay, I live at Ndeji, Ndeji Rufkana Masua, those sites. Uh, I stay with my parents, both of them. Yeah. And my young siblings. Okay, and how old are you, by the way? I'm um, just 16. You're 16? Yes. So you got sick from what age? I got sick when I... I was five years old, but I was born with like no more children mm -hmm. when I am okay. But when I started, I reached, I came from my nursery, going to the primary level. I got sick, and I used to swell, and they took, they used to take me in the hospital, and the doctors used to check and they say, the body is not okay, but they used to give me medicine, and I take. So they used to treat what they actually didn't know was yes. happening to you. Yes. So when did you find out that it was kidney and liver failure? Mm, we got to know when it was. Uh, I was in my primary seven. Mm. And the condition was going on. Worse. Yeah. It was getting worse. Yes. It was going on. It was getting worse. It was getting worse. It was getting worse. It was getting worse. When I took a primary seven, Nembera on and so Makati Mag Babazade my wagon do lava, Ganyongero, Gilokuzimba, Mongeri Jessali, Gomu Viguzimba, Nevadam, Nevantualamu, Dual Corno, Bantuala Mulago, Katia Bemula Gueva, Kevera, Nevagam Banti, Nina Kidin, Basoka to Gamba Kidin, Nevario Kava, Bong Batwe da Galeri Kola Kidin. I tell you, when I the second time, okay, we did. Ngani never gone back. I never even so could a problem. All this was in primary seven. Yes. Towards the end of primary seven. So were you able to sit for your exams? Yes, I was able. Cause I went and got medication, and I was okay for some time. And the swelling, and the swelling went away, and I sat for my primary seven. So now we go to S one. Yes, I, I went to S1. Mm. I went to S1 2013, mm. but I was not able to be in class every time because of the sickness. Mm. What are some of those things that used to make you feel so uncomfortable as a person suffering from the kidney? Nothing much about from, apart from the swelling. No pain? Because I had no pain, mm. just the swelling. Okay, so... It got worse in S1? Yes. So in S2? So were you able to go to S2? No, I had fin towards the end of S1, mm. I was finishing, mm. and then I was able to sit for my exams. But after mm. the uh, beginning of 2014, I was going to school, but the, the disease came back seriously. And it attacked me, and the swelling came back. Can you just, I don't know, but do you mind just educating us a little bit about kidney failure? Oh, mm. Brad, Bobo Bagamba, the Chinala Banganga Chivacola, just Kunzi Jaco, just some sigh, new urinalysis, never gain and never cave, never the results, never gamba, Ticati. Mujurin, mufulumiram proteins. At a proteins, I know kubera mobili. Katia onga chechifu hako kuzimbo mobili gona. Katinga, kidin ziba testi asobola kufunctioninga. Ama za gabera mobili o kugata amuzobu lonchi. Katinga gugada mobili we nga oromo olioko zimba. Kati, kati okonye zeko wa, your healing, when did it come? Mm, my healing came in. Mm. 2014, yes, 2014. 
during Ma May. During May, yes. May. And the Wankulu Koko said, mm. yes, for the pastor called Pastor Robert Kayanja. So, Chava Kuchi, for you to decide to just go to the crusade? Because I, I, I had gone everywhere, mm. and the thing was getting worse, worse, worse. And, they told, and I, the, I had told you that the doctors had told me, you go, they had give me, given me a long period to start home. During that period, they knew mm -hmm. that I would be done. Done in what way? Death. You would die around that time? Yes. And we saw when the medications were not still working, and we went to the crusade. Mm -hmm. We had it when they were advertising, and we went to the crusade uh, for some few days. We were there, we were prayed for, and I got you. Whose idea was it for you to go to the crusade? Was it your mom who suggested or you suggested? No, mm. it was for it was from my aunt, Faith. Okay, when you went to the crusade, did you have faith that you would be healed? At first, I did not have I, I did not have faith because mm. I I could see when all the medications are refused to work, mm. and I saw some people being healed. And me, I got some little faith. It was just little. <laughs> yes. Mm. But going on, I came back in the next day. The next day. Mm. And some some other people were healed. Mm. And me, I got faith. And I say, these people are being healed. And may be healed in Jesus' name. Mm. Mm. And I got faith. So um, you went back the following day? Yes, I, I went back the following day. Because the crusade was for five days, mm. I went for three days. The last day, I went, that day was, I was healed, I got energy, I could, when, when we were coming, I was just carried, but when we were going back, I you took walked. myself back. So that means you are even bedridden, you couldn't walk yes. at that time. Yeah. You were carried to the crusades and carried back home. Yes. But on the third day, yeah, I you was got okay. Healed. Yes. And since then, you've never experienced any pain. You're fine. Have you gone back to the doctors? Yes. You I actually did go back. Yeah. I, I went back to the doctors, and they checked. They confirmed that I am okay. Maybe the cameras could show you some of the tests that wow. we have here. Um, this is the key test for the kidneys, and it's called the creatinine clearance. And as you can see. It's within normal um, creatine clearance uh, right here. It's the last column. It's a normal value. Were they the same doctors that treated you? Yeah, I went back in the same hospital because mm. I went in Mulago and they checked and they confirmed. But them, they knew that it could not be healed. They still gave me medications, but me, I did not take. You still had the faith yes. that you're actually healed. Yes. So what was the look on their faces? Some of them, they were surprised. But, you know, Mulago, some doctors come, others go. Mm. But some of them who attended me last time, they were not the same doctors. But mm. there are some few doctors who keep who on there. Who had seen you. Yeah. They were surprised because I was soaring yeah, here. Yeah. Like, yes. I had water here the whole of my body. But I could go there mm. when they could not even recognize that I'm the one. You are the one. But after calling the name from their registers, I stood up. They were surprised. Okay, so that day you, you got healed. How long did it take for you to get back to your body? Because you were very swollen. Uh, I go, I, uh, the crusade was ending on Sunday. Mm. And then I went back Monday, I was reducing in size. Actually, on Sunday, that day, when the pastor prayed for me, I went there on the pulpit to give test their testimony. The pastor prayed, and that time, I started reducing there and then. And then I went back home uh, on Monday. I started reducing in size. The head reduced, here reduced, and the stomach, on the third, the second day, Tuesday, the size went on reducing. Mm. And the third day, I was okay. 
So that's the time you actually came to church to testify. Yeah. Okay, Lincoln, for everybody that is actually going through what you once went through, um, I'd love you to encourage them right through that camera. I, I encourage those people not to give up. Mm. Keep on praying to God. He will answer your prayers. But the, when the time is not yet, you will be there. But when time comes, like me, you will be okay. Thank you so much, Lincoln. You're welcome. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you.